right good day to all my wonderful online viewers just to remind you if this is your first time of watching this youtube channel and you have not subscribed it won't cost you money just press the subscribe button strike the bell and what do we have it's an interesting topic everybody deals with water water pollution hmm Water pollution, this is caused by the indiscriminate dumping of solid and liquid waste into water body. Take for instance, when rain falls and people dump refuse inside gutter, it is bad. It could lead to water pollution because the water from the gutter could eventually lead to stream where people fetch water to drink. Now look at this. The pollutants in water are as follows. Number one, refuse and sewage, industrial and agricultural waste, then crude oil spills. These are very important pollutants that are found in water. Refuse. These are solid waste materials. Refuse, take note, as solid waste materials. Examples include dead sweat from house, office, and hospitals. Banana peel, orange peel, pineapple peel, those are refuse. Now, sewage. Sewage are liquid waste. Examples of sewage are urine, feces, soapy water, after bathing, they are all called sewage. Now let's move on. Industrial and agricultural waste. Some of these materials are harmful and non-biodegradable. Non-biodegradable is that they cannot be broken down. Even when you keep them for a while, they are not broken down naturally. And they, and they are not broken down into armless compounds by living organism. That's what we mean by non-biodegradable. Now, industrial and agricultural waste continue. They remain in water, can arm the aquatic life. Mercury compound accumulate in the body of fish. And if we eat such fish regularly, mercury compound get accumulated in our body and can lead to mercury poisoning. Hey, may that not happen to any human. Now, how to control water pollution? You and I should be a very good instrument to controlling the pollution of water. Refuse should be buried or burnt in an incinerator not even polluting the air again, but burning in a confined environment with inbuilt device to prevent air pollution. That's how it should be. Now let's move on to what we have next. Sewage should be processed, treated, and converted to useful chemicals that is reduce, reuse, and recycle. Those are the processes that are expected to be involved in controlling water pollution. So you and I are on the best edge controlling water pollution. Now continue to watch this video. The composition of water. It was in 1881. Hmm. Were you born that time? <laughs> That's very funny. That briefly observed that the explosion of hydrogen and oxygen gas yield water vapor. Now let's see the full page. Cavendish later established the ratio of hydrogen to oxygen to two to be two to one. Now, what does this one mean? Priestley was the one that was able to discover that water contained hydrogen and oxygen. If they ask you in an exam, 
you should be able to mention that. If you have any question at all, just subscribe. Just go to the comment page. Put the question. I'll be very happy to give response to it. Cavendish was the one that established the ratio of water to be 2 to 1. That is hydrogen 2 and oxygen 1. Let's move on. Physical properties of water. Water molecule. Molecules are linked by hydrogen bonding. Although hydrogen bondings are weak forces, their abundance in water makes it difficult for water to boil and ice to melt because they are many. The hydrogen bonding is many in water. So it makes it difficult for water to boil and ice to melt. Physical properties of water continues. Hydrogen bonding that is responsible for the high tension in water, the surface tension in water is high because of the hydrogen bonding, producing a skin-like effect on the water surface. Next. When most liquids solidify, the solid are usually denser than the liquid. What do we mean? When most liquids solidified, the solid are heavier, that's what we mean, than the liquid. For instance, if you have solid oil, it is heavier than the liquid oil. Oil that has congealed will stay at the base of the container. Why the oil that is still liquid enough will stay at the top. Do you understand that? Now, but in case of water, the reverse is the case. You will see ice floating on water. Ice, I mean water that has solidified now, that is ice, is floating on water. Because the molecules are held together by hydrogen bonding to form an open lattice structure. Let's continue. The molecule of the liquid structure are crowded in the liquid water. That is why ice is less dense than water. Take note of that. Since ice floats on water, ponds and lakes the water does not freeze completely during winter. If it freezes at the top, under it is still pure liquid. And that is why life, living things, can still exist in the frozen water. Because only the surface will be fro frozen. Why underneath is still pure liquid? Hey, don't hesitate to subscribe. Don't hesitate to go to the comment side and put your question. I will always be ready to provide answers to them.